Let's talk about a game that was miserable. Let me say it again, miserable to look at. I'm going to start with the positives. That's the way Stretch is. Likes to look at the glass being half full instead of half empty. I'm going to go right to the defensive line and a group that I see getting better every week. You see Taco Charlton. Taco had a sack on a three-man pressure. Bull rush his guy back in there. He's flying around, chased the wide receiver screen down. Mayowa. May was getting comfortable moving up and down the line. Obviously, Lawrence is a big-time player and a big-time pass rusher. I'm starting with the positives, and i got to give this defensive front an A. Let's talk about the linebackers and a group that's welcoming its leader back and Sean Lee. You see Wilson. You see those got Smith. I see Hitchens flying around with a reckless abandon. I like the way they're playing the game. Defensively, talking positive right now against this Seahawks group. I got to give the linebackers a beat. Young pups in this defensive secondary. These guys are getting better every week. They've been forced into playing because Skandrick has been hurt, but it's going to help this team in the long run. We've said it before, Jeff Heath plays better with these younger guys in the lineup. There's an upside to look forward to in a Dallas secondary, and that's the young guys playing. I got to give them a beat. Let's talk about the offense. Wow, was this hard to grade. I'm going to start with the coaches. I think it's easy to be critical of the coaches, but in this situation, you got the ball first and goal on the two yard line. You've got a chance to get back in the game. You got your star running back back and you call an RPO, a run pass option. The first play, Jason Garrett, you got to cut that off. You're an offensive guy. Run the football in that situation. Offensively, I got to give the coordinator and the head coach here as difficult as it is, an F. All right, let's get going with this offensive line. It's a tough situation. Tyron tried to go. Bell had to fit in, and there's a real drop-off, and it affects all five of these guys when you see it across the front. Seattle was not going to let you run the football. They stacked the line of scrimmage, and when you're missing the key piece at left tackle, it really hurts the group. They did okay in the first half. Tail of two halves, really okay in the first half, but didn't get it done in the second half, a lot like last week, and for that, I got to give them a C. The tight ends, and they played physical again. They Dallas got in some three tight end looks. Seattle adjusted in the second half, and that seemed to be a little bit of a, of a throwback for the Cowboys. I still like Witten. I still think he's got a year or two left in him. I really like Hannah and the way he's coming on, Swaim and the way he's coming on. These guys will continue to get better, and I got to give them a B against Seattle. Zeke was a little rusty getting back after six weeks off. He's been down there in Cabo working on his washboard abs, down there getting in shape. It didn't help him from a pass protection standpoint. He wasn't able to pick up the same looks. Smith, I like that he's getting better. He continues to get more playing time, but because of Zeke's inability to really take a look and be able to pick up that pass protection situation, I got to give him a seat. The quarterback and Dak did not have a good game. It's hard to see him have highs and lows because of how he played last year. He threw that interception. It was just because his feet weren't set. And before we've talked about giving him great grades because the rush didn't bother him. He was able to sit in that pocket. Now it's starting to bother him a little bit. He took some shots. That gets his feet happy. And when you get happy feet, you're not able to really set them. It really hurt him in this football game. I got to give him an F. Let's get on with these receivers. I like that they put Noah Brown in the game. I saw some things out of him that are really positive. Beasley, still a good inside route runner. TW can do some things. Dez, buddy, you're killing this football team. Your actions off the field, what you're doing outside the white line, it's starting to roll in to affecting your quarterback. Then you got the ball in your left arm. Even my 11-year-old knows you got to get the ball in your right arm, outside away from the bad guys. The ball gets punched out. You're starting to be an issue for this football team. Because of that, I'm going to give you an F. Eight and seven and out of the playoffs, it's, it's got to be hard to deal with. I think it's going to be hard to deal with at the star. I think it'll be interesting to see how Jason approaches this week. Do the starters play? Then I didn't even play for it. You got Philadelphia. He's got home field advantage wrapped up. Be interesting to see how even Vegas takes a look at this. See what the line is on the football game. But I'm going to tell you, having to go to a miserable town like Philadelphia, the only thing I can positive I can say is go up there and get yourself a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Get the game out of the way. We'll come back and talk about it next week.